Hello, everyone. Welcome to the third series of FIG online seminars. The FIG Education Commission decided to continue with the third series of coach education online seminar for the gymnastics community. My name is Lourdes Avila Carvalho. I am from Portugal. And today I will be the moderator of the 10 Steps in Rhythmic Gymnastics webinar. I am really happy to share today's webinar with our expert, Caroline Hunt. Welcome, Caroline. Thank you very much for joining us today. And it is a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, Lourdes. I'm so looking forward to working with you today on the Dance Steps webinar. Before we start, let me introduce Caroline. Caroline is from USA. As an athlete, Caroline was a rhythmic gymnast, was part of the national team, and was also an athlete representative. Caroline has a master's degree in education from Stanford University. She is a FIG Rhythmic Technical Committee member since 2009. She has been a superior jury member in all high-level competition in rhythmic gymnastics. She was responsible for judge education program as an intercontinental and international judge course expert. Caroline is also a FIG honorary coach brevet. Caroline will first do the presentation, which will be followed by a brief discussion. Once again, thank you, Caroline, for being with us today. And it is our great honor to welcome you to today's webinar. May I now hand over to you, Caroline. Thank you, Lourdes, for your kind introduction. I look forward to starting now our webinar together on Dance Steps Combinations in Rhythmic Gymnastics. Dance Steps Combinations are a required element in a rhythmic gymnastics composition that engage the gymnast, the gymnast's ability to coordinate her body and apparatus movements with the character and rhythm of the music. So in this webinar, we will really focus on the body and apparatus movements with the character and rhythm of the music. A dance steps combination is a minimum of eight seconds fully dedicated to the artistic principles of a rhythmic gymnastics composition. To differentiate one performance from another by the unique style and character of movement with both the body and the apparatus in relation to a specific piece of movement. And this is an important principle of rhythmic gymnastics because rhythmic gymnastics is performed with different pieces of music for each exercise. So these eight seconds serve as a signature of the exercise, a highlight of the unique character that the gymnast or the group can express with her music. This is extremely important now and also in the future because in the next code of points, which will be officially valid starting in the 2022 competitive uh, season, two dance steps combinations will be required in a rhythmic gymnastics exercise. So it will be doubly important for both coaches and judges to understand and focus on creating these dance steps. How should these required combinations be created in order to be valid? The focus needs to be on the character and the rhythm of the music. The Code of Points in Rhythmic Gymnastics has a guide for creating dance steps, which talks about any classical dance steps, any ballroom dance steps, any folkloric dance steps, or any modern dance steps. Meaning, as a guide, those genres of movement or those types of dance can serve as an inspiration, a model, or an idea for how to create a gymnast dance steps. Music and character are the inspiration. 
So using this guide in the rhythmic gymnastics code of points, the first point is classical dance steps. And let's look here at an example of one of the most classical, most iconic forms of dance from ballet. This example of one of the most famous ballets in the classical repertoire, Swan Lake, is very often used as inspiration in rhythmic gymnastics. And we see here a specific style or character of movement, elegant, guided by finesse, by exquisite technique. These are the characteristics from classical dance step. And then, we see that in rhythmic gymnastics, when this type of music is chosen, that the same types of movements would be emphasized. This is different music, but the style or the theme of movements is the same classical emphasis on elegance, extension, finesse, and the same types of movements typical of ballet. Here's another example, taking its inspiration from classical dance. In this example, we have the same swan lake, and you can see in the arm movements an actual homage to the original classical dance from Swan Lake with the iconic arm movements as this group performs a different version of Swan Lake, but still emphasizing dance movements from classical ballet, cabrioles, chenets, passes. Etc. The Code of Points also mentions folkloric dance steps as a guide for creating dance steps. So let's look here at an example of steps from traditional Georgian dance. we will see a rhythmic gymnastics exercise which took Georgian, traditional Georgian music. You 
you can see that the gymnast's movements in the rhythmic gymnastic stand steps are for sure inspired by their traditional dance steps from this particular folk uh, genre, this Georgian dance steps, and this is a Georgian rhythmic gymnast. Now, of course, any gymnast from any country can take any music, but in this particular example, we see very well the inspiration be behind the dance steps. And in this case, we understand why the gymnast chose this music, which is really important in dance steps, because the dance steps should indicate why a specific piece was chosen. Another example in the same category of inspiration, folkloric dance steps. And we will see here now an inspiration from traditional flamenco type movements. Now we will see a rhythmic gymnastics exercise, which also takes the same type of music. And we will actually look at the whole routine and not just the dance steps to see how this fits together, the dance steps and the character in the exercise. Here we have a great example where the dance steps emphasize the traditional dance movements that serve as an inspiration with the arm movements, with the hips, with the feet, with the clubs making an emphasis. And we also see that this signature eight seconds is echoed throughout the rest of the exercise, just with the same types of movements that come from the traditional folkloric steps. This, this unity, this character in the steps, this is the idea of a rhythmic gymnastics composition. And this is at the heart of rhythmic gymnastics dance steps. We have inspiration from another genre in the folkloric category, Georgian, flamenco. And here we have inspiration from traditional African dance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
have the similar music chosen for a rhythmic gymnastics routine and the corresponding dance steps. Again, if a gymnast or a group chooses such specific music, then she has the opportunity or the gymnasts have the opportunity to emphasize that very specific, very traditional music by utilizing inspiration from that um, specific genre of movement. And lastly, the Code of Points offers any modern dance steps as inspiration. Any modern dance steps as inspiration, which means coaches and judge, uh, coaches and gymnasts have freedom to create and freedom to take inspiration from any dance they find or can imagine. Here's a very iconic example, very well known. This is Michael Jackson, as we know well. And therefore, if a gymnast or a group chooses Michael Jackson, then we understand that this choice most likely is for a desire to create an homage or a, a inspired performance with the movements and style of Michael Jackson. this group example, we can see clearly why this group chose Michael Jackson, because they took the inspiration from this from his movements and made it work for a rhythmic gymnastics exercise with character, with rhythm, and with the apparatus. And here, as we transition then into this, this idea of any modern dance, I take here a quotation from Isadora Duncan, who's considered in some dance circles to be sort of the mother of modern dance. When she said, I am seeking that dance, which might be the divine expression of the human spirit through the medium of the body's movements. The dance steps is really an opportunity through movement for the gymnast to give her expression, the expression of her spirit or the group's spirit. And therefore classical, folkloric, modern, these are guides, this is inspiration. Really the inspiration from was, is within. And this is the goal of the coach and the athlete to really find what's within and then find that connection to the music which offers the outlet to express that. As Isadora Duncan said, I'm interested in doing, what I am interested in doing is finding and expressing a new form of life. And therefore dance steps can be any sort of new form of expression or movement. Let's look here. I took this original, like one of the only pieces of original footage of Isadora Duncan in this moment of just open and free expression of movement because we will see here in the next example, dance steps which have a modern feel and which is a totally unique interpretation, not from Michael Jackson, not from Madonna, not from flamenco, but a unique form of freedom of movement really inspired by this music.
And here we have a modern, the character here is a more modern type of movement, interesting modern music, and the freedom to create whatever came for these gymnasts. And the interesting piece here too is of course, the way that the apparatus creates the various accents as well, in addition to the movements of the body. Modern, unique, original, but very much tied to the character of the music. Another example, free expression. This music, this is a Colombian gymnast, and this is actually Eastern European music. And yet for sure, this gymnast creates a unique impression through these dance steps that's very much uh, indicative of her own spirit and has a distinctive character. And therefore, Lourdes and everybody, when we think about these eight seconds, we really want to think about the ways in which the gymnast's movements can answer this question. Why was this piece of music chosen? Why did the gymnast feel connected to this music? Her dance steps and the rest of the echoes through the exercise should answer that question for us as viewers, as spectators, as public, and also as judges. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Caroline, for a really interesting presentation. I am sure that both the topic and the way you have approached it is important and interesting, not only for rhythmic gymnastics, but also for all gymnastics disciplines that use music as an integral part of the performance. Because if music is to truly complement the performance, it has to add something interesting new and unique to the routines. It is good to know that in the upcoming cycle, more time will be allocated to dance steps during the gymnastics routines. Uh, it will be make it more interesting to audience and lovers of this sport, I am sure. Thank you, technical committee for this. But my First question is about one particular characteristic of gymnastics. It is in the nature of the sport that routines are performed only once, and therefore the character of the routine has to be absolutely clear because there is only one chance to evaluate as a judge and one chance to feel and to experience and understand as a public. What is your advice to coaches and choreographers? What should they do to guarantee that all of us are able to better understand and recognize the artistic component of the routine? Thank you so much, Lourdes, especially for your summary statements with which I completely agree. And also thank you for recognizing the efforts of the Rhythmic Technical Committee to emphasize the dance steps even further, which actually came from a directive from the whole world, as well as from the FAG president, that these artistic principles are so important for the exercise. And therefore my advice, as you asked for coaches and gymnasts, is actually to emphasize and work very hard on the dance steps, because that is the place, that is the space in the exercise where this character can really be emphasized. And especially if there will be two dance steps, then in this 16 seconds, the coaches and gymnasts can ensure the character is conveyed. And from those dance steps, if they can create <clears throat> echoes through the rest of the exercise, as we saw in the club routine, with the skirt making the turn, et cetera, et cetera. This will create the unified image 
and the impression in just one time. Okay, I, I agree completely with you. And what do you think about uh, mixture of the styles? You think that is allowed? In other words, if there's space to have the character of the routine's movements be different to that of its music style. For example, can a routine that use classical music while exploring hip hop or contemporary, contemporary movements? What do you think? I think, Lourdes, that the Code of Point offers a lot of space for creativity. I don't think that the Code of Points limits a gymnast to a single character or a single interpretation. What I think the Code of Points and the artistic components and the dance steps ask for is something that's authentic, something that's really connected to the music. So if a gymnast would, or a group would like to explore with a mix, as you said, it, anything is possible if it can be understood, if it can be, if it can be expressed in a way that it creates that impression, which means if you would like to do hip hop during a classical piece, you, the gymnast must really dedicate as much time and energy as she would dedicate to her difficulties to making those steps really memorable. Yes, I completely agree with you, Caroline. This innovative combination has to be done in a special way when the gymnasts are really ready to do it. Like you said, it uh, needs to be innovative, interesting, and unexpected in such a way that all of us, judges and public, will understand and understand this unique and original movement and to don't interpret it like a choice must take. So the gymnasts or the group have to have a highly developed artistic level to perform in a successful way. What do you think? Lourdes, you have expressed it so well. And I hope that the world that's listening can appreciate that this type of preparation artistically should be the defining difference in the artistic component, which is one of the main components of the score there should be differences based on the artistic preparation and the dedication to making the dance steps and the theme and the character with body and apparatus, something that's innovative and understandable. And this is how to really make a difference in that component, which is truly a signature of rhythmic gymnastics. So the more attention that's paid to it, um, the better the group or gymnast should do. <laughs> the last question. The routine character is most obviously revealed during the dance steps, like you said, but the routine should show a continuously uh, of this character from the beginning to the end. In this way, the routine should use all aspects of the music, not only the rhythm. So rhythmic gymnastics routines can use the melody to lead the movement, amplitude and the speed, as well as the meaning of the words in, in case of the songs with lyrics. What is your advice to coaches and choreographers on the best way to guarantee more diversity and quality of music exploration? Well, Lourdes, thank you for saying that because in rhythmic gymnastics, there's an expectation that the gymnast will move with the rhythm. So this should be the bare minimum that her movements with body and apparatus correspond to the rhythm. When we're speaking about dance steps, this is a 
basic expectation, but to really develop what, you, what you're really talking about is to work more with the melodies, with the harmonies, with syncopated or other kinds of beats in the music. And actually that is the place where the gymnast can create those signatures of the character and the style because everybody should be working with the rhythm. That should be, of course, that should be a base that can be also developed to work with different kinds of rhythm where the gymnast can make different kinds of accents on the rhythm. But the melody is actually where you find the character and therefore, or the lyrics. Now, while we don't want the gymnast performing the lyrics because she's not a singer, she's an athlete, it can still inspire the style of movements that she would choose for that particular eight seconds. So I think my advice is that always this, all facets of the music, as you've said, should be the inspiration for the arms, the legs, the hips, the face, and the apparatus during those eight seconds. And then in the connections in the rest of the exercise. So to use only the rhythm actually would not fulfill a dance step moving forward because the expectation is that it's the character and the rhythm which are emphasized and um, communicated. Thank you for really such educated interesting and actually innovative questions, which speak very much to the principles of the artistic components in rhythmic gymnastics. Because again, the dance step is kind of the symbol of the artistic components. Thank you again, Caroline. Now we will finish our webinar. So it has been a real pleasure to take part in this webinar with you. And I hope that everyone has enjoyed it as much as I did. Our thanks to FIG, Media Communication Education Commission, the managers of FIG Coach and Education Programs for their invitation and support. Thank you so much, Lourdes, for your collaboration and your expertise as well. Thank you very much to the FIG for their educational initiatives. Thank you so much to all my colleagues in the technical committee for prioritizing the art artistic components. And of course, the FIG executive committee and president for the emphasis on the artistic principles. And mostly thank you to all the viewers for your interest in this aspect. As Lourdes said at the beginning, and I think it's really important, any gymnastics discipline that uses music any, any gymnastics discipline that uses music should strive to answer the question, why this music for this gymnast for this event? And then every exercise will be something different. And as Lourdes said so well, something innovative and something which the public loves. Thank you so much. And finally, Thank you to all of you for joining us today. Stay safe and see you again soon.